So, one of the things that happened in Cockpit recently was containerizing certain parts of the UI. One of those containers is the Kubernetes pod. The Kubernetes cluster admin interface can actually run as a real pod inside of Kubernetes without any of the local system administration stuff, and it can also run inside of OpenShift or Origin or Atomic Platform. Let me show you how that works. So here I'm accessing Cockpit on the local machine as I would normally do, and I log in with my local machine credentials. Now, this is the standard interface, nothing surprising here, but when I click on cluster, you can see um, I have access to a Kubernetes cluster that's running here. Um, it just has a couple of containers running, these tiny Nginx containers. I can do things like scale them out, and so on. This is a functionality that's been around for a while. So, what did we do to make this a pod? Well, lots and lots of work went into this. Surprising amount of work, actually. But it does function today, and you can actually try it out. Uh, now, Kubernetes objects are created by having from a, a JSON or YAML manifest, and I'll create this. Now here, a service and a replication controller are created, and using the standard commands, we can see exactly what IP address this is running on. Let's check if our pod is running. You can see that it's running and ready. And by the way, all of this is, of course, visible through this UI here, or through the containers UI here. We can see the new container working. But here, I'm not accessing this pod. I'm accessing the standard cockpit interface. Let's actually log in through the pod and see what it looks like. So there's the IP. And it has a, a new certificate. It's a new instance. It's not the same instance of cockpit. And you can see that when we're logging in, we're actually logging into Kubernetes. We're not logging into cockpit on a machine. We're actually logging into Kubernetes. It means we have to use different credentials. I use my Kubernetes credentials. I have an admin account in Kubernetes, an admin user, a password, and I can then log in. And now you can see that I'm in here, and I have the same view. You can see the same stuff, dive into the same details, and so on. And the let's kill this pod, Kubernetes cockpit, and it'll kick us off. And that's proof that we're actually accessing it through Kubernetes. It'll take a moment to die. And we're disconnected. There you go. There's some polish and, and work remaining to be done here to make it easy, especially on OpenShift. It's tough to deploy this um, as an admin interface, but I think we're going to get there. We're going to solve the obstacles and be able to run a nice cluster admin interface um, without having to tie it to a specific local machine. Thanks for watching.